Hey everyone, it's Friday lunchtime and I decided to stop work, leave all of that behind me and have a very nice weekend. And I want to take you along, reading and hopefully some trips. I'm about to leave to go take my bike to Mashli, so you'll come along for that. And I'm also going to take my current read. I'm currently reading on ebook Sweet Bean Paste. I forgot the author. I'm, I think, 60 or 70% done. And I really enjoy this book. It's very quiet. It starts off talking about this man running. It's sort of a pancake shop. They're called Dorayaki. I hope that's what you pronounce them. Reading words in a different language. Hmm. Anyways, so he's doing a very minimal job, gets it done, but doesn't put any effort in it. And he also has a little bit of a drinking problem. When one day this woman shows up, she's in her late seventies and says, I want to work for you and I want to help you. And at first he's resistant and reluctant, but then she offers to help and starts to make the sweet bean paste for the pancakes as a filling. And they start to get talking, become friends, and it's very endearing and a lot about food and cooking and you get hungry. And then it takes sort of a twist. You know that the woman has some disfigurements and then all of a sudden you find yourself in the context of Hansen's disease and how it was treated in Japan and the effects and anything. And it's sort of strange, the combination, but it's so fitting. And right now I'm in the process where those two are friends and there's also a teenager that is sort of part friends with them, but I, it's a little bit on the outside. So far the story really turns around the man running the shop and his life and how he changes his attitude, where he's been, where he's at. It's very character driven, food driven, and also the friendships is evolving. I really enjoy reading that. Other things I'm currently reading are Ensel and Grete. And this is the second book after 13 and a half lives of Captain Bluebell in the Samonian series. And I don't particularly enjoy this. The writing style is very annoying here. It uses a method where the author frequently interrupts the telling of his own story. But it's not Walter Moers interrupting, it's an imaginary author writing the book, Ensel and Grete. And ah, it's very annoying. It's too much. The balance isn't right for me. And the story itself of Ensel and Grete, you might have the suggestion that it's a little bit aligned to Hensel and Grete and it's a little bit true. There's twins getting lost in the woods and they're trying to get home. That's the main story so far. I kind of got bored. On audio, I started listening to Don Quixote and I'm using the English translation by Tobias Smollett, I think. And it's working much better than the German translation that I started, uh, is that years ago already? Probably. I started reading it in German because I wanted to read and get to the story for a long time, but I never really yeah, I did. And so the German translation kind of bored me and it didn't work. With the English translation and audio, it works much better. The audiobook is about 36 hours long and I'm not sure how far I'm in yet, but I don't think I'll finish over the weekend. But I'll make progress, hopefully. So let's go to Marsti. Cycling to Marsti was really nice, even though the sun disappeared as soon as I arrived there. But still sitting there and reading was very relaxing. And I finished Sweet Bean Paste. This is a very life-affirming book, looking at the value of a life that is not lived as a purpose on society or where work is not the only way you contribute to society that gives your life meaning. And I really enjoyed the writing, the characters and the story. I can highly recommend this book. But as it got gloomy and rather cold and rainy, I didn't really read anything else on Friday. and but just spent that evening watching Netflix. On Saturday morning, I went on my run, but it ended up being shorter than I had planned or expected as my body was just not having it. And so I didn't read or listen as much to Don Quixote as I had planned or calculated, but I really enjoyed it. 
especially this one scene where Don Quixote ends up at this funeral of this young man who died of a broken heart and everyone is blaming the woman he was in love with and then Marcella the woman shows up and was like no 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 you can't blame me because I'm beautiful and I never loved him I never gave him any hopes it's not my fault that he fell in love with me I didn't give him any hope that I would ever change my mind we were not in a relationship I'm not to blame. I cannot blame you for not loving me. And that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Currently, I'm out in the park, hoping that I can get at least an hour of reading in. I bought a new book, Space Between Us. I have no clue what it's about. I saw it basically recommended at the end of Sweet Bean Paste by the same publisher. It's by a Persian author and I, yeah, didn't feel like reading Ensel and Krete. So let's see how that goes. And let's hope for a little bit of sunshine and at least an hour or two before the rain comes. I actually managed to finish the space between us in one sitting outside in the park. The weather was nice enough and I highly enjoyed this. The novella is told in three parts at different times in the life of our narrator Edmund, who's an Armenian living in Iran. When the first part is his childhood, in the second part we meet him when he's married with a grown daughter, and in the third part he's a widower. The story is told from his point of view, but it's mostly about the women in his life and the effect that being an Armenian in Iran and living in an Armenian community and culture with the traditions and the religions and the worldviews has on the life of the family, the close-knit family, but mostly also on the women in the family or women in general in that community and culture. And I thought it was a very well-written novella. It was hard to get into in the beginning because I didn't really know where things were going, but I never know that when I start books that I don't know anything about. But as soon as I get used to the writing and into the flow of the story and the characters. I really enjoyed it. Now it's Sunday light afternoon and I finished Ensel and Grete, like I hoped to do this weekend and I really had to push myself through it. It's not that big a book, but I kind of got bored with it. And I must admit, I skimmed parts. It's a fairy tale similar to Hansel and Greta, where two siblings get lost in the woods. And the woods are magical, and it's a lot of creatures and things happening. And I must say that the story itself already got boring after a while. I think the book is too long. But what really annoyed me was the way the author or the imaginary author of the story, Hansel and Greta, kept budding in and commenting on everything. They called this, I have no idea how to ex translate that since this is German, Mythenmetzsche Abschweifung. And it's basically when the author wanders off and comments and talks and babbles. It's like watching a movie with the commentary and the author just kept butting in. Uh, not my favorite. And as a literary device, it's been overused in here. I think it was not well balanced. But it's the second book in the Samonian series and I do want to read more of the books. So I wanted to finish it and I'm done now and I'm happy. And I'm going to end the reading vlog here as I'm going out on a walk now to listen more of Don Quixote but I still have 23 hours left to listen to so we're not gonna wait for that. Thank you all for watching. Let me know how your weekend was or your reading. If you liked this vlog, if you read the books I talked about or if you have any good recommendations. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.